So, you're in the market, you got a little bit of dough, you're looking to make some money, you want to invest in a property because you've been hearing about it a lot. If you're not in the property industry and if you're not invested, you've lost the boat, you've lost the plot, you've missed the boat, you've lost the plot and you've missed the boat and you finally want to do it, but you've got a little bit of money and you're thinking, how much can I get from the bank and financial institutions and so on and so forth. Look, I don't always encourage people to get mortgages. If they do, I tell them go to a nice bank, preferably an Islamic bank, but if you must and you need, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a background and some guidance in this one, okay? And if you need an expert advisor and our team to help you guide you through the process, hit the link below. Let's talk. We'll be able to actually guide you and help you. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon. Show real fast. Alright guys, welcome back. So let's say the property that you're looking to buy, because you can extrapolate this to anything, okay? Let's say it's about 1 million dirhams, okay? Alright, let's just a good round figure, easy to actually understand, okay? So you're looking to actually buy a property that's worth about a million, but then you can use the same principles and take it all the way. Now, if you are a UAE resident, okay, if you are a UAE resident, in a salary job okay so there's a lot of things that the banks and the mortgage consultants look at before they can actually give you a final word of approval okay so they will look at what is your minimum salary they're going to look at is it your first property okay is it your first property that you're trying to mortgage because it depends on this as well they're going to look at how many other loans you have or credit cards okay because here's so i'm going to just clarify all of this they're going to look at what company if you are employed by a listed good company then it's easier for you to get a loan okay generally speaking if you are a uae resident on your first property you should be able to get up to 80 percent which means 800 000 dirhams you should be able to get from a Islamic financial institution, okay? Now, it varies though, okay? The central bank says as a rule, okay? And disclaimer, I'm not an expert in this, I'm just giving you some advice to guide you. That if you've got other loans, and let's say your salary is 100,000, but your other loans, the repayments are 55,000, you won't be able to get anything because the central bank says that nobody should be paying more than 50% of their total monthly income towards repaying debit cards, or credit cards, car loans, other things that you might have bought with the money that you have, okay? The reason is they want you to be able to survive well, right? There is another angle to this and the other angle is that if you are, a non-resident okay for non-residents generally speaking you can get up to 50% okay so 50% on your first property okay okay I want to come back to UAE residents okay if you are a UAE resident but you're not getting a company salary but you're in your own business there are question marks here for you to get this the business of the company should be at least five years old you should be in that employment for number x number of years so the rules and regulations change depending on what your personal situation is i would just not talk to a advice uh, to a mortgage consultant in a bank i would get a mortgage consultant on board okay if you're a non-resident you can get up to 50 percent so in some cases it might be actually better if you're looking to set up a business in the uae to not become a uae resident but actually do the property purchase before so that you can get 50 percent and then move into uae resident status now if you don't qualify but you have two things you can still buy a property one is a down payment and two is cash flow. You can still buy an off-plan under construction property because 
once you purchase the property, your down payment can vary anywhere from 100K to 500K. But once you've purchased that property, what's gonna end up happening is your future cash flow from your business or job or whatever it is, can actually pay you pay the property as it goes, okay? Uh, so you won't have to actually worry about, hey, what if I can't pay what? And once you've actually, once you take handover, sometimes these off-plan properties on handover have a 30% or a 50% payment due. Because you've already paid 50%, you become a very favorable customer for the bank to be able to finance the property, the balance 50%, it becomes easier, okay? so. How much will you get from bank and financing? Give you a little bit of a snapshot and a guideline. If you want to work with us, look, there is a link below. Hit it, click it, let's talk. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Give us some love in the comment section. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006, and since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.